And we have, of course, spent much of the night talking about the Republican primary, but the Democratic contest has been called for President Biden. I'll show you the numbers as we have them right now. With about 20 percent of the vote counted, President Biden at 67 percent. Congressman Dean Phillips at about 19 percent. It's going in much slower because it's a write-in for President Biden. It takes a while longer to count those and post those results. I want to bring in Jake Rosen, who has been our campaign reporter in based in New Hampshire. You've been to several Dean Phillips events. Uh, your assessment of what we see playing out tonight, and is there anything for Dean Phillips to point to here at roughly... 19% and say I achieved something. Well, Phillips told me last week when we spoke one-on-one -on -one that he needed at least 20% here, that it would be magnificent for him to do so. I think the big thing, though, is he really needed to kind of break that to kind of embarrass President Biden tonight, which is, you know, maybe the point of his campaign and spending so much time here versus other states. He knew the attention would be on New Hampshire tonight, and he knew that if maybe he broke historical precedent for an incumbent in New Hampshire to get 30, 40, maybe even 50%, he, his campaign talked about a win. They told me that they felt good about tonight, that maybe there would be some kind of movement going forward for Phillips' campaign and to kind of push former President Biden to engage with his campaign, which they just have not done. Right. And it's worth pointing out that because it's taking a while longer to do the write-in, we only have 20 percent in. We need to be careful about characterizing this in any way. Obviously, the president's going to win. But if there is a benchmark for Dean Phillips, over 20 percent, maybe he finds some oxygen from the results to carry on. Sure. He spent $5 million on this race already of his own money. I think it's important to see how many donors he gets coming out of this and where and how much more of his own money he's willing to put into this race. But I think the big thing you're right going forward is that historical precedent. They met, you know, the Biden writing campaign has told me that they compared this to the Lisa Murkowski write-in years ago, but that they really felt comfortable in this win, this grassroots effort from former state Democratic officials and other people in the state who had supported President Biden. And they just felt basically that they had the momentum. Voters who I talked to today, I did not okay. find a Dean Phillips voter. Very good. Jake Rosen, thank you so very much.